My dearest Mimble, it feels as though it's been forever and a day since I have seen you. Muddler and I have been to Vegas and back, leaving a series of trashed hotel rooms in our wake. I now head back to Moomin Valley, on foot of course, a boat where needed. I look ever so forward to see you and Mim, little Mai, Snupkin, Mimla, Mumrick, Mimbeline the Third, Mumble, Muddle, Muffet, Mary, Pippin, Papaya, Susan, and our forty other children. I especially look forward to our game of which ones are mine. I also look forward to seeing the house Moomin's son so generously built for you. It should be interesting. Oh, my dear sweet Mimble, I will keep you in my heart every step of my journey. When my heart is hurting, I will think of you. When I am happy, I will think of you. How I do miss you, and no matter how long it takes for me to come back to Moomin Valley, it will be too long. All of my love, Jockster. Dear Mim, I know it's been many years since I last saw you, and I know you are well into adulthood, but I still find myself worrying about you. Your mother told me that you've been going to therapy and are on medication for your depression. I know how viscerally difficult it can be to take that first step. I know, because I haven't taken it yet. I'm proud of you, Mim, and I'm currently heading back to Moomin Valley, but it will be a continental hop and a half before I can see you all again. Also, please be sure Snufkin as well. I remember the last time we were able to talk, you mentioned something about him behaving strangely. I worry about him, but of course you know all about that. If you don't receive a letter for him with this one, well, you know the reason. Just tell him that I'm sorry that I turned out to be a terrible father and I really didn't mean things to turn out the way they did and I just no, I just didn't know parenting was so hard. I still love him it, so much, it hurts. Okay, maybe don't word it exactly like that. You're a smart girl, you'll figure out a better way. Also, tell little Mai I found out I'm her biological father and her denial that Snufkin is her brother sounds as if it's growing troubling. Love, Jockster. Dear Snufkin, so I know it's been a long time. Too long. Extremely long. I completely acknowledge I've been a bad father and a coward for not speaking to you. I don't even know where to begin repairing what I've done- wait, that's too heavy. Dear Snufkin, it's been a long time. I miss you a lot. I know we've had our differences in the past. No, that's really understating the time I made him kill a guy to defend me. Dear Snufkin, I'm in a tavern, and I'm getting pretty buzzed, so I'm feeling pretty emotionally vulnerable right now. It's been much too long, and I really want to see you again. I haven't seen you since you were a child. I really don't blame you for never wanting to visit when I'm in the valley. I've done a lot of wrong. I regret all of it. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I just want my son back. I'm a terrible father. You were such a good kid, and I just never told you that. God, why did I try to raise you by myself? Why didn't I just stay home like a normal person? Why can't I just stay in one place and live a normal family life? I love you so much, stuff. And no, I can't send that. <sighs> Forget it, I'll just write another love letter to Mimble. Dear Mimble, maybe it's the beer talking, but you've got a butt that just won't quit. They've got these big chewy pretzels here. <laughs> Five dollars? Get out of here.